session of welcome to another session of q a with john worthington uh this evening we have a guest q a participant mr dean tamam how are you doing tonight mr dean doing well how are you doing Thanks very for very me. well good to see you dean good to see you too well, well what can we do what can i do for you guys tonight uh, what, what 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 can we what can we uh cuss and discuss and all that stuff so the main thing on my mind has been children. I mean, Paul, I, I can get right into it. Uh, I don't know if there's a particular from that. No, yeah, so, um, yeah, so yeah, so um, you been thinking about kids. You, yes, you I have a kid. Did you think, think about then? I, I'm pretty sure. Okay, all right. So, what are you thinking about kids, Dean? Um, so I guess I'm just I want to triangulate and get some perspective on how I'm thinking about parenting and how I'm going to do it as she gets older. So right now she's seven months old. She's still beyond, you know, she's not really beyond basic communication yet. So, I mean, pretty soon she'll start talking. Time. I, I'm sorry. <clears throat> she's already learned who you are. She's already learned who her mother is. She's already learned what a tone of voice means. She's already learned what no means. She's already turned, she already has learned what uh, what sitting up and rolling over means. There's lots of things that she knows already. Milk, and all, poop. <laughs> all those all those programs. Every I mean, she's probably even starting to grab a, a, a cup and want to drink it. And she's about that age. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, Okay, and so all those things are formative that will be with her for the rest of her life because she can't go back and find these things. There's no way that we can remember these things. We have no way to acknowledge that they exist for us at this age, but they do. Okay, I mean, you learn to, to grab that cup and drink it. You might even be able to remember it if you think about it for a few minutes. You, you remember sitting in that damn high chair. Now, that part I know that you remember. Uh, you know, there, there are a whole series of things like that that you remember from that age or right there close to that same age within within a month or so. And those all those things are formative. So, you know, what are you going to do when she gets older? What you're doing right now? You're either going to be aware that she's programming things and that, that how she sees the world and how she perceives the world at this moment is how she's going to see it forever in the day because of that's she can't get back to change it here. It, it's just not hard. It's just how do you, how do you explain to a fifteen year old to come back to this point in their life and remember this? To, so that doesn't happen. Yeah. You know, it, you, it, you have trouble enough to explain it to somebody who's thirty. Right. So I've, I've tried to explain that kind of thing to people in their twenties. Yeah. It, it was it, it was it was a fool's errand on my part. I, it didn't happen. I, I couldn't get it explained. I could I could pique their interest, but that's about it. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm sorry to interrupt you, but uh, you, you're, you're starting to, 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 to starting with a, with a premise that's not really true, and so I, I don't think that would be fair of me to, to simply say, "Oh, yeah, well, he'll learn." So let him go ahead and make that stupid ass mistake. What for? I mean, you can. You're a pretty smart guy, so why why shouldn't I take a few minutes and, and care about you enough to say, "Okay, look, how, think about this before you decide." Okay, she's already learning this this kind of stuff. Are you aware of that? You know, if you're not okay, then you're not. But but it, take some time, study it, look it up on Google, something, find out that this is what that's what's going on for the for the little girl, because it's going on. Yes. So I'm hearing what you're saying, and that does make sense. I approached it. I made an assertion that didn't actually make that much sense. <laughs> right. Well, you you can't do that if you're if you're writing if you're writing a, a line of code, can you? Well, you can, but. You, oh, you can, but you're going to clean that mess up later. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty sure that, that takes place. But it has disastrous results in, in, in code and in, and in code. True. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm deliberately, I'm approaching this open-minded knowing that I don't know a lot here. I'm a new parent, and I know I don't know a lot, and I'm, yeah. Asking for oh. triangulation, so like, look, I know I don't know this, so you, you, you know what, you sound just exactly like a new dad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, who says you don't know? 
it, see, this, this is what, well, let's no, stop for a second. See, I, for, to me, this is a silly statement. I, I, I'm not mad at you or nothing. I'm not trying to tell you you're bad. I'm just saying that this is a silly statement. Let me tell you why. You went through all of these changes. And when you went through them, you learned about these changes from your mommy and your daddy and your Grammy and your aunt, aunt Susie and your uncle, uncle Charlie and, and, and Lupe when she'd come by to clean. You learned about all that from all those people. And you learned about how to behave and you learned about how to, how to do and you learned how to get along and all those things. And guess what? All those things are indelibly marked in your mind as behaviors for you. And when that little girl doesn't follow those behaviors, you're going to say, <clears throat> you might be a little girl, but you're my little girl. And it's my little girl is going to behave in this manner. By God, you know, enough of that crap. I want you to straighten this up and behave properly like your daddy wants you to. And she will. In other words, that's the same way that you learned. And, and nobody talked to your parents about any of this. Nope. Neither did they talk to your grandma about that or your great grandma about that or, or none of them. No, your great, 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 great medieval grandparents are the ones that happened during the Iron Age. Not, not a single one of those grandparents were talked about this stuff. And you got, you got here fine. Sure. Okay. In other words, they gave you a, a fair chance at getting getting out, getting on with your life, in exactly the same way that you're going to give a, you're going to give her a fair chance at getting on with her life because that's what parents do, and you're a parent, and it isn't that you don't know you know exactly what that's about because you've you've had parents. You Is there a way to that. do better than just get them to get along fine? Because <laughs> that's kind of <laughs> like. Well, if you know, you should you should be lucky to accomplish that one, eh? Because you see, the thing is, is that you don't know about where it is that you're programming her. So why not just rely on the programming that, that got you to where you are? If you really wanted to know that, you'd have to really get into it and see what your own programming is about. And you're not willing to do that, so I, I mean, I'm not mad at you about it. What the hell? That's a lot. But of you did you did ask the question, right? Like, how do you do that? Right. Well, yeah. This is how you do that. <laughs> you you need. So I, I had I had kids, um, two thousand ten and two thousand and fourteen. And oh, you're a new <laughs> I, I mean, I, my kids are still young, but there was a gap there, Dean. And, and and you know some of the things that I was learning during that gap, and <laughs> I can see the difference. In, in, in the two children, the ones that, that Laurel got some of the things that I wasn't aware of <laughs> at the time. Um, and we joke about unwinding those things as she gets older. And, uh, and Derek's got a completely different set in a few places. And uh, it's really interesting to notice that difference. So you're saying you're witnessing your own personal development <laughs> as a result <laughs> of their... No, yeah, you know, <laughs> He's saying that he's a dad. Yeah. <clears throat> That's what happens to dads, okay? We learn we learn everything that we know from our kids. Oh, it's so true. They I'm reflect so they reflect that. everything we do, Dean. They reflect everything we think. From how we walk to how we sit to how we talk to how to how to how we reach for a glass of milk to to, to, to how we to how we look at mom to how, all of it yeah how we yell at the television <laughs> yeah. all of it. it I don't know if you ever saw this video or not but there, but there for, for a while there was a YouTube video that went around with this little, little black girl saying and how about how about you living up the husband what he doing where he at now she did not come up with that phrase. Trust me. Yeah, that, that did not come from a three-year-old. That I don't give a damn. It did not come from a three-year-old. It came from a mommy of a three-year-old is where that came from, or a aunt or a, a, a grandma or somebody. But it did not come from the three-year-old. Three-year-old learned that someplace. Attitude, attitude, all of it. Your little girl's saying. So what you do is, is that you have to be vigilant about what she's perceiving and, and what she thinks she's learning so that you can so that you can guide her, not 
corrector, but the guider to say, okay, Mihai, are you thinking about this carefully? Do you, what do you want here? Now, can she do that yet? Yes and no. Both things are true. Both things are, are happening right now, that she's thinking about it and she's not. That will continue on for, I don't know, so she's maybe 50 or so. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going on for my, my, my daughters, I can tell you that. They're, they're still doing that shit. So that, that's what they're supposed to be doing. So that, it, it was it's correct. They're supposed to be doing that. See, I like that. that it, yeah. it isn't a matter of what you teach her. It's what she learns. Oh, that's not an insignificant difference. <laughs> no, it isn't. No. Yeah, because even it, the way you, you framed it, it, like how you started by saying it's not your daughter, like she owns you now. It's like <laughs> even, even thinking of what I teach her is that it's me going off the old perspective, but it's like, no, it's not about what I, it's literally about what she learned. So it's really changing the lens of perception on it. I, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. It, it, it's like you got to turn, you know, you know, sometimes if you're on a Zoom call, you got to turn the camera around, you know, it's one of those kind of things. <laughs> yeah, because I have like a, I guess it's the generic dad desire of, you know, like I thought at one point, like, what do I want for, for Daisy? And it's what I imagine a lot of parents want for their children. I don't think it's particularly unique. It's to set her up to have a better experience than I had and to have more opportunities than I had when I was afforded, right? But it's like, how much further can it go? So right now I'm tactically working through the means of providing that, you know? Time out. <laughs> uh, dude, uh, do you really think that any of that's conscious? Let me let me illustrate this for you, okay? I'm self-schooling my children because I don't want them to suffer through the stupidity that I had to as a child. I will teach them myself. And then some kid gets up and he sings the song which says, you know that you've been self-schooled when your date for the prom is your mom. So do you mean to say, like, I have to question, who am I to determine what is better? Essentially. Yes. There you go. Because it ain't up to you. It's up to that little girl named Daisy. It's what she thinks is better. And what she expects from you is consistency. That's it. And if you're consistent and you provide for her for all the stuff and you're always there and you always love her no matter whether she what she does, which is what you're going to do anyway, then it doesn't get any better than that for her. It's funny. The way you outlined it, it almost – it sounds so simple. It, well, it ain't. Well, it hard. is. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't feel that simple or when I think it through, it doesn't seem that simple, but – I mean, at, at its essence, it's like, be there. Well, how, be did around he start, be hold on. how did he start this? He said, and you think that's conscious, do you? Yeah, it, it's not. It, that's like a base thing, isn't it? That's a instinctual, genetic, well, hard-coded. Well, see, the, here's the thing. It's like we, we think that we're deciding this stuff, right? And it's taking place at, at a self-metaprogrammatic level. We're teaching people, we're teaching our children what we believe is real. That is not a conscious event. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> they're, they're picking that up on, based on, on observing everything that we do around us and around well, them. And when they get done with that, that, that homework, the next thing they do is they, they figure out how to express everything emotionally. Hmm. And once that's done, they, then they, they say, oh, I'm in love with that girl and she doesn't love me back. And we're off to the races. <laughs> it's about 13 for the boys and maybe 12 for the girls. <laughs> and, and, the, and these girls these days, maybe 10. Oh, jeez. I uh, can't. Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. No, that it's, <laughs> it's just interesting to think of the concept that I'm gonna see. She's gonna demonstrate what I perceive to be good qualities that we teach her, and then the most annoying things about ourselves that we aren't unwinding that she's just gonna be <laughs> emulating. So it's, <laughs> you get a mirror out of it. <laughs> yeah, it, you know, it's it, it's always it's always um, enlightening, shall we say, for for us to have children because we, we learn so much from them. You know, that's not something that anyone ever really explained to me before I had kids. I mean, I'm not sure I would have heard it um, if they did, but no one said that. And I I did say that to a couple people after I had kids. I'm like, yeah, this is a big deal. You really get to see who you are, <laughs> which it's no one told me. <laughs> it's surprising how seamless it transitioned from not having a child to all of a sudden having a child going home and like the checkbook didn't explode and nothing wrong, nothing bad happened to the child. And like, we, we went about it just, I was so nervous. Like, how is this going to literally work? And it did. Um, it just does. It, it, I'll, I'll be going to hell in the handbasket. you you, you are a parent because you have parental experience. Oh, there we go again. <laughs> you See, do know. <laughs> You've been intimately involved with parenting. It's been visited upon you. Good, bad, and ugly parenting, all of it has been visited on you, and, and, and it's better than a Clint Eastwood movie. <laughs> yeah, I saw something that really resonated. It's like, uh, it was a quote somewhere saying, you know, it's interesting that you after a few months with this thing, it's like that you didn't have for your entire existence. You can't imagine not having them anymore, but it's the impact is huge. You can't undo it. It just, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, this, this is all, you know, when, when Vanessa was like, I don't know, <clears throat> um, maybe 17 or so, and she kind of had, she decided that she had, she decided that she was in, in love with this young man. And so I was talking to her one day and I said, I said, Miha, are you sleeping on the floor? And she said, no, 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 I'm not. I said, okay. I said, well, you know what happens? Or you know what they call girls who, who don't sleep on the floor when they go over to the boyfriend's house, right? And she, she said, no, what? I said, mothers. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? She, she, she's still, she's still being a mother. Uh, <laughs> low, 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 still in that 20 year cycle, right, John? <laughs> Well, but she she re-upped. <laughs> she, <did. laughs> she started over. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. with you, Dean. She's got she's got two young ones right now. Whew. Yeah, and they're they're about the same age. Well, Le Leah's a little younger, I think. She's not. I don't think she's seven months quite yet. I think she's about four months, five months now. Four yeah, months, I think so. Or is she right at five months? I think. Anyway, she's a little bit small, but Lenore has a has a baby too, a little a little, a little baby too, girl too. So the, you you guys are the three musketeers, Vanessa and Lenore and Dean. All of you got baby girls about the same age. So Dean, look, dude, you know, don't don't do, do yourself a favor, okay? Don't make a mountain out of a molehill here in this regard, okay? Because it, it, you know it's just look, it, it's an easy thing to do, dude. Because you already you already know what being a parent is. Your mom and dad will, will showed you how to do that, and, and and you learned how it was done because you, you see you, you you lived life and you're here now, right? So so you what they did worked, and so you, you're gonna you're gonna do the same things. Now you may be able to modify this little bit and that little bit and so forth, but you know, well, I'm going to send them to a community. I won't send them to community college. I'm going to send them to regular college. Well, good for you. You know, I, I yep, it's the same damn thing. You're taking care, care of them, aren't you? You know, I'm not going to let. I dare never. You know, I'm going to do it all for them. You're going to steal all of their lessons? Oh, aren't you, yeah. Aren't you greedy? Wow, you're a good daddy. You're going to steal unintended all of consequences. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I, I've personally learned that you, you you tend to do bad by taking away someone's opportunity to learn. <laughs> so I'm gonna be yeah. as it, conscious it, as it, I can be about that. 
<laughs> and, and, and it's like the, the, the goofy little things. She fell down and she turned around and looked to say, did I hurt myself? And somebody runs and says, oh, get up. Yeah. See, I don't, I don't do that. I say, well, get up and come over here. I'll give you a hug. And they get up. <laughs> and they come over and I give them a hug. It, it's great. It works. And then they, by the time they get, they're not crying. <laughs> because there was nothing really to cry about to begin with, see. It was only me, it was only me telling them that there was. It, so they perceived it. Because I perceived They were looking it. at you for it. They were like, what is the situation here? And then you're, yep. they, you're guiding it. Yep. What yep. did yep. they learn from you? <laughs> yep. Right? What did yep. they learn from you? Is it time to turn on the works? Do I cry? Do I get something nice afterwards? Yeah. I, 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 I've had a couple situations where she bumped, she kind of like rolled back and like looked and for a split second, it's like in my head, I'm thinking, is she all right? And I'm like, well, she's not like screaming, so she's fine. So I kind of just like smile at her, go pick her up and she's fine. But it's like, yeah, those are the moments where it's like, oh, you could make her really afraid or you could set her reaction moving forward if you're not deliberate about it. There you go. Yeah. So, there, so, well, see, you're a good parent already. <laughs> Damn. How dude. do you? What? What is good? The question is like, what does good look like? Because yeah, like I, I think I hear what you're saying about you know it, you successfully it parented. If you get them along, fine. And then, but is that really the bar? Is that? It looks like you being at one with yourself. Oh, what a, what you, what what a wonderful lesson. What a wonderful lesson. <laughs> well, <clears throat> are, are, you, are you okay with what you know about parenting already? No. Well, well see, I, I am. I'm, I'm good with whatever that is for you. I, I, not, I have no, no qualms with it whatsoever, dude. I mean, my, my perspective is that in pretty much any given situation, you never know. There's always more you could know. There is. So it's like there is, but see, this is the problem, is that in any given situation, what you know about being a parent is already in place. Because it ain't conscious. So you're saying this is something, it, this is bigger and deeper than like, let's say a framework or an approach. This is like a deeper it, it, thing that I don't really have much control over? Well, not really, but let me put it this way. Dude, what you're teaching your daughter is, to, is what to believe is real. That's what all parents teach their children. Child, this is the thing that, that we, Smiths, Abrahams, uh, Worthingtons, uh, Greskies, whomever's, Tannins, this is what we do. This is how we deal with the world. This, we, all of us have done that for as long as we, they've been us, and so we all do this because this, we don't know why even, but it's because we learned how to do this early on in life, and we all do it. Now, in every family, there are, there are things that work really well and things that don't work so very well. So both things can be true at the same time. Really, they can be. And so what, what we try to do is we, we try to demonstrate the, the very best of what we see our family as being for our children. We try, to, we try to show that to them so they can see us from that perspective. And so once we do that, then, then, then we have a place where we can say to them, okay, child, I've shown you the best that I can be. And I'm sure you're going to take this and be the best that you can be. Oh, did I lose you guys? No, no. It, I'm just thinking about it. It's, I mean, I think that's true. Um, I just wouldn't want to limit her with only providing Dude. her access to the best I know. There's way more out there than what I know, and I'd want her yeah, to yeah. She's learn gonna do from that. it. Well, she's yeah. going to do that. I mean, you know, look, you know, I, I didn't have Google Google when I was a kid. I, I just had my mom. That's a good point. She's going to have so much information. I don't, I don't even think of what my dad said. Let me go cross-check him. 
Yeah, I, I don't think that happened either. Okay, it, it didn't happen with my dad either. He just said, you're going to do what I showed you here, God, God damn it, because i got to go to do shore this morning, and, and i got to get back in time to milk the cow, so you're going to get this part, this part here done. And I said, oh, okay, I see. Because if I didn't say, okay, I see, he was going to kick my ass up around my shoulders. It was pretty simple. Now, here's the thing. Do, do you think he loved me? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Of course what he did. Silly, he, was his, he was his kid. What a silly boy you are. Of course he did. That's right. He was hardwired to, and he loved me enough to say, this is how we work. This is what, this is what work is about. This is how you're responsible for yourself. This is how you can be confident in who you are. Uh, because, see, he had to show me the form of being a man. All right. So, yeah. Dean, so, uh, take a moment. And let this one sink in, because what what you're actually teaching, Daisy, is that you are not confident in who you are and what you know. And you're not doing that deliberately, but you're doing it. Right. And, and here, here's the reason, because you, you're not really comfortable quite yet with this this idea that arts typically... Men types of folks, masculine types of ideas are form related. And feminine types of ideas, women types of folks tend to be more germanly rated, uh, 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 related. And what that means is, is that they are more they're more involved with the, with the germination and growth of growing living things. Whereas men are more related with the form of taking care of those growing living things. And you're trying to be both things and you're not going to do the germanly related things well at all because you're, you're not that kind of a person. You're a masculine variety of person and you should do that well, I think. And not worry about whether you're doing those other things well at all or not because you're not and you're not going to ever. You can be aware of them, you can, you can get better at it, but it's not natural to you because you're not a woman. There's nothing wrong with you understanding it or anything like that. Or you're not prohibited from it. It's just that you're not a woman, so you don't do those things. That's it. That's all of it. Just to clarify, like what would be an example of one of those things? Just so I can make sure I'm following. Okay. Uh, do you go to work every day? Yeah. Is that the form of going to work? Is that's that a matter? Is that that's the, that's I would the say, yeah, I, think, I think it aligns with your definition of the taking care of the thing. Yeah, I think so. No, 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 it isn't. No, it doesn't. It says the form. It's the form of what you do. Are you demonstrating what going to work means for a man? Yes. It sounds like you are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah, okay. However, can do you do you make sure that the wash is done and and that the, the that the food's ready and and that, that you've got a boob ready for the girl when she needs one and so forth? No. <laughs> no so you, you're not equipped for that, right? Well, you're not. You just you you just aren't equipped for that. You're you're, you're a guy. You're you're you know not, not it's not to say that you that you can't figure that out or that you you can't uh, uh, aid and abet in these things. It's to say that. That you don't have that equipment. That's all. That's all I'm saying. You're equipped in a different way. Makes sense. Okay. See that. You, you, see when, when when we start looking at it from that perspective, then we can take out all the goods and bads and the, whether or not you're you're doing it right or doing it wrong, and we get out past all that crap and we get out to that place where that none of that exists, and we can talk about what really is taking place. You see what I mean? What I'm saying. The quote that we use in, in, in the diet class is this one, Dean. Uh, out beyond right doing and wrong doing, there's a field. I'll meet you there. And so, see, that's what I'm trying to talk to you about, is out beyond all this right doing and wrong doing that you're trying to accomplish, there's another place that doesn't doesn't account for, that, that none of that stuff exists. So why don't we go out there at that, that, that place where none of this crap exists, and why don't we talk to each other out there so we can solve the problem? Huh, you so know, you're, you're, you're removing any of the parameters of or judgments. You're just saying, well, here is what is, and we can talk about what is with nothing attached to it. <laughs> well, duh. <laughs> okay, here, here. Okay, okay, Daisy. 
Uh, look, honey, you see that big yellow kitty over there, the one, the one with the great long teeth? That's called a saber-toothed tiger. And, you know, we tannins, we tend to avoid those if possible. I mean, honey, please run, on, uh, run along and play. I don't think that's going to happen, dude. I think you're saying, Ma, sweetness, get over here. Let me take you away because you want the form of protecting your daughter. You're not going to be, you're not going to say you should learn your, by your own mistakes out there with that yellow, with that big yellow kitty cat. That ain't going to happen. You, you're not no. going to allow that to take place, dude. And you okay. So when, you, when you frame it that way, that makes, I can understand that in a, in a bigger way. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. there's another place here, Dee, where you're where you're thinking that there's more knowledge to be a better parent, right? There's you're correct that there's always knowledge out there to gather, but that's not what you need to. You don't have to optimize the parenting process in that way, right? That's what you're trying to do. I I know you pretty well. You're like I'm gonna go learn everything it is to be the best parent. I'm gonna find out what the best things are and I'm going to do those best things and I'm going to make sure she gets the best. And we're yeah, it's funny. There, there, there's a principle I learned from you, Paul, a couple of years ago. I don't even remember the context of how it came up, but essentially it, it boiled down to there's really not a useful form of blame except self-blame. And it's just like one of those <laughs> things you, once you like, once it sank in, it's like, Oh shit, something didn't go a particular way. It's like, how did I fuck that up? Even if it like wasn't directly me, it's like, so that's been something that's, in my, I just always think of it. So within the last year, one of these tenets that's been put in my brain is no matter who you are or what you're doing or what you think you know, there is always more that you can know. So just know you will never have 100% of the knowledge needed for a given situation. So you have to be comfortable with, do you have 50% of what you think you need? Are you okay with that? Is that enough for you to make a, a decision you're comfortable making? So it's just something I always think about. I never want to think, I know the answer. I know okay. this. Dude, who the hell am I to say that? Yo, dude, what decision? I mean, it goes see, pretty much about anything. Well, I know, but see, this is, are you are you dumb or what? How many times do I have to say this? It is not conscious. Ah, yes. So slow down here, Dean. Oh, back to parenting. So, yes. He. Yeah. So what you're you're saying is a purely logical conversation. And none of the parenting things that we're talking about actually happen there. So, John, are you saying from to the same degree of you're not going to sit there and walk your child through keeping them away from a tiger? You're just going to grab them and run. You're saying parenting kind of operates at that same level, like instinctual level that's not really spoken? All of the time. And it's not instinctual. It is at the self-metaprogrammatic level of belief in real. Okay, I will illustrate this to you in this way. When that little girl gets up older and she gets pregnant, when she's 13 years old, she's still going to be your little girl. That is true. And it, won't, and it won't make a damn bit of difference whether she's pregnant, not pregnant, whether she fucked somebody or didn't fuck somebody. She's still your little girl, and you're still going to love her come hell or high water by God. Now, I'll be damned if there's any decision involved in that. <laughs> you know what I remember when I was younger <laughs> along that line when I was I forgot seven or eight I was young and uh, my mom was talking to me about something I don't even remember the context of it but she said Dean like I, it just came up she's like Dean you know if you're gay I'm gonna hate your guts but I'm still gonna love you <laughs> it was kind of like what you said. It's like, she's not going to like me. She wouldn't have wanted me in her life. But she ended up like, I'm still going to love you, but I'm, I'm not going to be able to stand you. <laughs> it's kind of like what you're saying. It's like, yeah. But see, that's the thing is, is that, 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 was her, that was her perception of, 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 of her fantasy of what would happen. What would actually happen is that she would also be around you forever. She wouldn't let you out of sight. <laughs> That's true. That's an interesting assertion she made with that, actually, yeah. That she'd be around for the whole thing. Okay, it's not any different than what, than what you just said about that You, you that there's more stuff for you to learn about being a parent. Really? It probably is. But are you going to use it? Well, not consciously. 
pumpkin. You can maybe rewrite the program, but that's it. You know, but but you're going to have to rewrite that program at a self metaprogramic or 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 at the very least a metaprogrammatic level, because right, you can't the, just apply a couple of facts and theories to how you parent. You have to affect yep. <laughs> how you're assembling reality for yourself to be able to do that for your for your kid. No, I I think I think I actually could do that, but I think it would not really make as much of an impact as i would want it to because it's at a very low it's like a low level it's not at a deep can I, approach can I, way you know what it might be you know what yeah. I mean? can i say this again none of it's conscious dude yeah no yeah. shit and if you make it conscious you're fucking with it this wait hold on we, we got to stop right here Dean, I know for a fact this is something, a uh, concept that you struggle with. <laughs> this idea of thought being functional outside of the logical conscious space. Because I know how much you, you oh, work can you, hold, can you handle this? i got to go open the door. Yeah, go ahead. Um, I think you know that's true. We've, we've talked about this. Uh, in oh, yeah. I mean, I've def I definitely subscribe and I, I believe I've – I understand the concept of, you know, like belief, you know, like emotions fall out of belief, mm -hmm. feelings fall out of emotions, emo uh, thoughts fall out of feelings, right? right so right, thoughts right. are at like the lowest, the, for, for as conscious as we think they are, they are like a byproduct of many other things. Whatever actions or thoughts, right, that you're executing at that lowest level are 100% governed by everything above it, right? Yep. Like, you know, so, so like you said, the emotions, you know, the, the feelings, the emotions and the beliefs are all dictating what you have available uh, at that lowest level. So that's part of the equation here. But the other part that I'm trying to figure out how to kickstart some understanding for you is that you operate, you do what I do. You do tech work. It's very logical. It's very binary. Um, it's it's pure execution of beta consciousness, right? It's like rapid, fast, predictable, teachable. There's methodologies you can use to go through and, and really optimize it, right? Mm. But it's not creative. It's not qualitative in its capabilities. No. At all. Which is why if I were to read a bunch of facts about parenting and it, it, I'm like at the bottom of a waterfall. So it's, you're going to rehash those facts through the lenses that you're already using. Hmm. You're not going to modify those beliefs in real by reading a fact. You're going to teach Daisy through your self-care programs. That's what she learns from. That's what she's building right now. She's building her own self meta programs. Watching you. Here's a question for you. So one of the things I've realized in talking with you is between the ages of zero and four, there are typically formative there there's gonna be at least a formative experience that one has that will dictate how they perceive a lot of things, and that's gonna be the foundation of yeah, a lot what, of how what, they deal with the world, right? What things? What things? What things in particular are they going to are they going to, are they going to perceive? Relationships, us parents. No, 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 oh, no, reality? no, 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 only, only real things. They're going to define reality for them, and they're going to use your description of reality to define it. Because they ain't got one, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, Andy, we're, 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 subject, we're subjecting her to our perceived reality. She doesn't actually have an opportunity to deal with actual no, reality. What a dumb shit you are. What an arrogant prick. What do you mean? You're, subject, you're subjecting her? No, dumb fuck. You're using... A thousand generations, you're sharing a thousand generations of, of learning with your daughter. How arrogant of you to say that you're subjecting her. Christ almighty damn, you should, you should have your, wash, your, your, your mouth washed out with soap. Oh, 
what kind of a what what kind of a young man are you? I thought you were a decent young Uh-oh. man. Not that you have a nasty mouth. Oh, what <laughs> shall I do? What shall I do? What shall I do? Don't no, please don't cry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So related to this, John, is I was trying to point out that there's more to the thinking machinery than just the logical beta set. <laughs> okay. How, how can we really make an impression on Dean with this? Okay. Here, here, uh, there's lots of ways. Okay. Here, here. Okay. Good. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Dean, are, are you aware of, of what the, the palatial, uh, 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 cortex does. I, I don't know. I, I doubt I say I'm saying that right. But it, it, it's it, it's it's also connected to the eyes. W- were you aware of that? Oh right. I'm sorry. I know what you're talking yeah. about. Hold on. Are, are, are you are you aware of that, Ed Dean? No. Okay. Cool. You see, the thing is, is that it's connected up through the hippocampus, or 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 what we would what we sometimes refer to as the reptilian brain. And it's, it doesn't really see things, it's aware of things. In other words, what it does is, is that it, it is aware of that tree branch that's hanging down on, on that we don't really look at, but it's aware about it and we duck because of, of, it, of that part of our, of our brain being aware. Not because we, uh, the visual the cortex actually saw that tree branch, it's because that other part of our brain, that other cortex was aware that it was there through the reptilian part of the brain, not through the, not through the directly at, into the, into the visual cortex. Which is monitored, which is managed by consciousness, right? I mean, that's the part that I'm looking with. Yes. Well, I, I'm not sure that it's managed with consciousness, but consciousness is, is intimately involved with, with, with looking. Yes. That, that part's for sure true. Hmm. Okay. Now we're not aware of that. Are, when was the last time that you were aware that of your brain doing that uh, that uh, uh, eleven dimensional uh, reorganization of neurons for a, you know like an hour or so? <laughs> never, <laughs> never. You, you weren't aware of that, but it does it. So how could you? And, oh, maybe you weren't because that that was kind of subtle. Okay, how about this one then? When was the last time that you decided what you were going to dream and you dreamed it and then, then you got up in the morning and you went and did that thing? <laughs> that doesn't happen. Uh, yeah, no. Really? But yet it happens every day to everybody. But you're not aware of that. You're, you're, you're not conscious of it because that, and that's the reason why you're not aware because you, you only are limited to, to what you can see consciously. Oh, that's too bad. It's cute, but it's just too bad. It's, it's, oh, is it, you're, uh, look at that. Look at the little guy. He's grown up so big and strong. Oh, he even got consciousness. So, oh. how about the rest of it? You got that too? How about the spirit? That part that's not even connected to the brain at all. You got that one working for you? Hey, hey, Daddy, you got that one going so you can teach it to your little girl. Can you even talk about that without uh, running into a taboo situation here, Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. Uh, well, when we talk about B1, you know, I mean, that's that's a huge part of it is, is having this uh, relative understanding of what's going on here. Here, being here like, as a biocomputer, right? Having a mind, being spirit. All at the same time. Yep. Body, mind, and spirit all at once. That's a that's a very practical concept. And and but but you know, I know that you're 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 a practical individual and very logical, and so you don't believe in that shit, right? <laughs> no, I, I mean the one thing I have I have thought about over time that I think kind of aligns with what you're saying is um I've become aware of an idea of wanting something versus wanting to want something. So, like, if if somebody really actually wants something, oh, like you don't believe in Sa- oh, you're growing such to be such a big boy. You don't believe in Sandy Claus no more. Wow, you're a big <laughs> boy. No, I'm not talking about that crap. That's silliness. Sincere, sincerely, Dean, it's silliness. You're you're a daddy now. You can't behave that way. Okay, it's 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 okay. I don't I don't love you. It's just I'm telling you, you know, draw a line in the sand and, you know, get on past this one. Okay, dude, 
it, it, it ain't gonna work for you. So, so don't, don't, don't spend time here. I mean, pretty quick, you're gonna be buying doll houses and, and they, they don't come with parking instructions. You know, they say, that, you know, the instructions say things like point, you know, put tab A into, into slot A and, you know, who the hell knows what that means? I mean, it's it just, you, you can't even visualize it. But you're going to do it because that little girl's going to say, Daddy, I want me, I'm, I want, you know, I want Santa Claus to bring me this dollhouse for Christmas. That ain't conscious, dude. That's some place that you love that you don't even know exists. That little girl can ask you for the moon and you will give it to her because you love her. And you don't know where that you don't know where that place exists in you. Oh, Dean, come on, dude. You got to get past that. You got to get down to where that one lives so you know where that's at. And so you can examine it and see what works and what doesn't about that one. Because that's something you're teaching her too. Are you teaching her to be a cold little bitch, or are you teaching her that, that loving people are really <laughs> the way life needs yeah. to be? That's a good point. These are strong motivators, Dean. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, well, Dean, look, dude. You know, here, here's the thing. You know, I, I, you know, where you are now is, from the last time I talked with you is like light years of difference. And it's like, I'm really thrilled to, to, to talk with you as, as an adult person rather than as a kid. Uh, <laughs> it, it's true. I, I am. I, 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 I really have been, I've been, I'm enjoying talking with you. I hope you, we can do this some more because we're, we've already been on for long enough to and boring it the hell out of everybody around us. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we're having fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we're talking about stuff that, that's going to upset a lot of people's apple carts, perhaps. But, you know, look, you know, I don't care if it upsets them a little bit or not, or, or I don't care if they get real upset or not. The, the thing is, Dean, is, is that I'm not talking to them. I'm talking with you about it, okay? And, and, and it's like, look, I, I, I like you. You're my friend. I, I've known you for a long time. And so, there, therefore, therefore I, I, I owe you honest, thoughtful, carefully considered answers. Because you're dealing with, with something that's very, 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 very precious and important to you, are you not? That's true. Okay, then you don't want me to tell you anything other than, give you anything other than my, my very best thinking about any of this, right? Yeah. Okay, then dude, I can do no less. And that's what we've yeah. been doing. Yeah, that's right. Well, you know, Dean, you're worth it to me. So I, I, I you know, that's me too. I, I'll break a few rules and, and a few scramble a few eggs and that kind of stuff. To, but let's get this done for you because <laughs> there, there's no there's no real reason for you not to for you not to, to enjoy enjoy your daughter at the fullest. And you don't need to be 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 worried about whether or not you're doing the right thing. You are. You're you're a good person. You're, you're not a you're not going to mistreat your daughter. You love her. I can rely on that. People in your family have been doing that with kids for generations. <laughs> it, worked, true. It, it, worked, it has worked really well the way that you we can prove it. <laughs> there, there, there you are. <laughs> so, okay. I, I'm good with, I'm good with who you are, dude. I don't have any trouble with that. I, I, I don't think you're going to mislead your daughter. Can you learn some more stuff? Oh, I'm pretty sure you can. Will you? No doubt. Will you throw about half of, half of what you think you know away? Probably. I did. You know, <laughs> yeah. I mean, most, most everybody does because a lot of stuff we think we know that we don't really know. We just, just It's fantasy. Right? So, you know, that, that, that doesn't mean that, we're, that anybody's doing anything untoward or, or irregular or anything like that. It just means that, you know, we're all people. That's all. You know, you tannins, you know, you come from a good family. You just, you know, for Dean, you, you, you develop some strange ways about you. What can I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> you turn into a fucking com gaming computer geek. And what can I say? You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. I think that's a, it's a good spot to park this one. Um, okay. Dean, you are always welcome back. We'd love to have you for another session. Uh, why don't you let this bounce around your skull for a little while and come on back to us? Yeah. Cool. Well, I, yeah, I, I appreciate your I appreciate your input and your candor on this. Appreciate yeah. your time. 
By the way, Paul, these uh, we uh, Lisa has our has our new website up. And it's mm -hmm. called it, so you can find it. it it's it, it's called uh, uh, the business of forging agreement, and uh, it it has a sto store on it and it connects to Pantheon, pa pa Patreon, and it does it does some other things. It's getting better and more expansive as I, as we speak, no doubt. Because Lisa's on on the job and and Bree did did some design work. I don't know if you've seen the design or not, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I will check it out. Uh, she, what she did is she took that uh, that three dimensional thing that you did. Oh yeah yeah yeah! I did see that. She flattened it out. She did, and, and she made it gold <laughs> or orange or something. Okay, and she put it on a, on on this this wonderful cobalt blue background, and it just Ooh. pops, and Ooh. it's really pretty. So, well, so I will check it out. I, okay, cool. You will lose. All right, Dean. It's nice to like, again. It's, it's really, really nice to see you. But guys, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna go have lunch. <laughs> have a good, have a good time with lunch, Dean. I'll see you soon. Take care. Right. Thank you. Bye, folks. Bye, guys.